Alrighty, so I'm going to just sit back here and we're going to give the floor to Anthony. The golden rule. The golden rule is be respectful. I think um, Anthony can be a very uh, helpful role model to you since he was an ESL student. Alright, many years ago. That's right, yeah. One years ago I was in here where you are right now. Oh. I'm still having trouble moving. <laughs> All right, so my name is Anthony Dallin. I am a graduate student at Georgia State University. I'm studying applied linguistics. And here I teach Russian at uh, oh. and, uh, GPC Bangalore. So today, hopefully, my speech will kind of help you with your preparation for your project. Can everybody see well? Because yeah. I try to turn lights off and it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Front light. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. No. This yeah. It's better for yeah. Comfortable. All right. So, where do you start? For today, I was going to ask you if everybody ready. I think for today was a deadline. You have to be prepared. Like, where you have to be chosen. You have to, you're supposed to choose the subject. So, you. Know, we brought topic. Yeah. Topic. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody did. Huh? Yeah. Right. yeah. So, where do I start? Okay. Start with presenter. So you. First thing people see when you step on the stage in front of the audience, classroom, it's you. They have no idea who you are. Well, you know each other. Imagine like you are in front of strangers. They don't know who you are. All they see is you. They don't know what you're going to talk about. So first, appearance is very important. First impression. When you're on a date, it's very important to make an impression on your date at first time. <laughs> when you're first meeting the professor, with the advisor, with the instructor, it's very important. First impression. So. Here comes subject of the appearance. The way you look, like I'm not saying like put, put a tie on or night dress, just you know, look appropriately. It has to be according to what you're presenting. For example, if you're presenting about a sport, some kind of a athletic adventure, or if you feel like, for example, you're doing mountain biking and you want to present about mountain biking, yeah, you can wear a helmet, for example. And some kind of attire, so this is what glove is, and this is what it is. If you're learning about tennis, anything else, yeah. For example, I wouldn't do it, but if you're really hardcore presenter, if you want to do it that way, yeah, you can do it. If you press about some kind of a national uh, holiday or cultural events, your culture, yeah, you can wear a national outfit to make it more presentable, to deliver a message better. If it's about general subject, probably some of you is gonna, are going to talk about college, I heard some of you uh, discussing your topics. Yeah, and that, it's better to look appropriate for the college audience. Manners. We have some good and bad manners, like chewing down, for example. I wouldn't chew in front of the audience. So, you know, scratching, touching. Some people have habit touching the face, like nose or ears, anything else. You know, watch those manners <laughs> and moves. You know, how you move, do you have a lot of hand gesture, any other movements, or do you move your shoulders a lot, it all matters. I'm going to talk about it a lot. Everything comes to the point that people in the audience have to pay attention to what you're saying. They don't have to concentrate on how you look. So your looks should not be distracted. By the way, if during my presentation anybody has any questions, please raise your hand. At the end, I'm going to allow, of course, a question section, but if during presentations anybody has questions, raise your hand. I mentioned clothes already. Make sure nothing should be flashing or distracting. Appropriate, nothing loose, nothing tight, so just appropriate for the audience. Hair, again, nothing distracting. You all look terrific. Yeah, no, no complaints. Your hair is nice now. Jewelry, what's the pretense to girls? If you wear jewelry, make sure it's nothing flashing, nothing big, nothing distracting. Because you're like, oh man, look at her earrings. <laughs> I don't care what she's talking about, her earrings are wonderful. You know? oh. I'm sure you all have wonderful jewelry, just you know, try not to distract audience from your presentation. Headwear, we don't have problem in this class. It's not a problem actually, you know, you may be wearing a headwear for your for religious purposes or for something else. Some guys like to wear baseball hats. Just I find personally distracted if somebody is presenting something wearing hat or scarf, unless it is religious. Religious, then yeah, that's personal religion. Nothing you can do about it. Eye contact. Try to 
make sure you're sharing it with everybody. See, I, I like to, when I present, I like to look around. I don't concentrate on somebody, I don't stick my eyes and eyes, you know, like you may be looking like I'm investigating something, unless I work for police. Yeah. Eye contact, you know, share with audience. Keep That's an important eye contact. point, sorry to interrupt, but I, mm -hmm. I, I remember when I'm sitting in the back listening to speeches, often a, a speaker is looking just at one person, maybe their friend or somebody they think will... For support, something. Yeah, support, something like that. So that's really important to... Plus, I've told you eye contact, but I've never told you, make sure you make it with... Right. With men. Plus, it helps you kind of to keep on concentrating on your subject. Now move your eyes around. Hi. Don't, don't look at the wall because, you know, people look, why are you still looking at the wall? You know, you, we want him to look at that. So maintain eye contact. Gesticulation. As you see, I constantly move my hand. I cannot keep it down. That's my nature. In some cultures, people use hands a lot, like in Italy, for example. If you tie Italian hands, 